the major theme that this question will be solved with is first own the data set read each and every word each and every equation uh, draw out proper inferences with all the information that is given and third thing that use options the question ends here and not here make the correct use of options so let's see what does the question say Rufus has total of 20 coins of type, uh, two types type Q and type R okay so we have two types of coin Q and R okay noted the value of each type of okay uh, so first thing is we have 20 coins so let's say what quantity we have say here it's x here it's y what we know is that x plus y equals 20 that is our first equation understood the value now we talk about the value okay the value of each type q coin is 5q and each type r coin is 5r understood where q and r are positive integer okay uh, what do we have q and r are positive integer greater than 0 and both are integers understood and q is less than r okay q is less than r so now again a small inference that we can take out from here is what is the minimum value of q q's minimum value can be 1 right similarly for r what is the minimum value it has to be 2 think about it how did this 2 come since q and r both has to be greater than 0 and both has to be integer so the smallest integer greater than 0 is 1 and r has to be greater than q so the smallest value for r is 2 so this is again another inference that we should keep in mind the total value of type q okay so if we say what is our total value total value is 5qx 5ry the total value of type q coin is q this is q for r this is r understood additionally q plus r is 130 okay noted noted q plus r let us put it here somewhere q plus r is 130 there are more type q coins than type r basically x is greater than y noted so what more inference can we draw from here see x plus y is equal to 20 so basically and x has to be greater than y so the possible values of x will start from 11 12 all the way till 19 Corresponding values of y would be 9, 8, all the way till 1. That way, all these values would be sum to 20. So, x, uh, minimum and maximum value of x has to be 11 and 19. Similarly, for y, it has to be 9 and 1. Understood. Now, let us, now we have read through all the uh, question, or we have gone through all the numbers, we have gone through all the equations, we have made our inferences. Now, let's try and solve for this. So say q plus r is 130, which basically means what? 5qx plus 5ry is 130. If we take out 5 from both sides of the equation, it becomes effectively qx plus ry equals 26. Now, finally, in the question, we need to take out the value of q and r respectively, right? So, and we have divided here by 5 on both the sides. So let us divide all the options also by 5. So effectively, we can solve the question using only qx and ry and we need not multiply the final value by 5 again. So here the possible values are what? 5, 12, 13, 14 and 21. Now, what we are basically saying that qx some number into x plus some number into y has to be 26. The possible value of qx are 5, 12, 13, 14 and 21, right, according to the options given to us. So, if you would see, can two number q and x ever be 5, where the minimum and maximum value of x is 11 and 19? Hopefully, you can see that it can never be, right? x, 11 multiplied by nothing can be equal to 5 as a no integer, right? Similarly, for 21, 21 can be written as 21 into 1 or 7 into 3. None of these four digits lie between 11 and 19. So we can rule out 5 and 21. So effectively, the value of qx that are possible now are 12, 
13 or 14 and uh, why because x lies in the range of 11 to 19 and for this the value of q would be 1 for all these three so effectively we can have three equation in each q is 1 x is 12 x is 13 x is 14 plus r into y now what we need to see is once we have x as 12 what is the possible value of y if x is 12 y has to be 8 right so here y has to be 8 here y has to be 7 here y has to be uh, 6 now again we need to multiply this with a number r what are the possible values of r correct r has to be integer and the minimum value of r was 2 this is what we know it is a integer now the question is pretty straightforward from this point onwards if this part is 12 for the sum to be 26 what do we need here we need this to be 14 can 8 be multiplied by any integer this 8 be multiplied by any integer to get 14 no so this is not our equation similarly this has to be 13 because this is 13 so can 7 multiplied by any integer can ever be 13 no it cannot be so yeah this is also not the answer we are looking for can so this is 14 what we need here is we need 12 can r multiplied by 6 ever be 12 yes when r is 2 and this also satisfies the equation the minimum value should be 2 and it should be integer so basically what we have our solution is this so uh, 14 value for qx and 12 is the value for ry right so as we have already divided all the options here so this is our value of q and this is our value of r basically small qx and uh, small r capital y right so yeah hopefully you found the solution helpful uh, so this question is actually pretty straightforward it's just that you have to commit to the question you have to own the data set you have to keep on making inferences time and again and if you like this video please subscribe to our channel it is really a lot of effort to make such concise solutions